Yes, Jedi. Hello, guys. Currently, we are actually in the middle of autumn here in the Czech Republic, which is not a summer anymore. It's not a hot weather anymore, but it allows me to wear like summer outfits today because it's literally crazy that in the month of it's the end of October and we are still having this warm temperatures like I'm happy for that because the season for starting the ice batting is not that hard as always so this morning this beautiful Sunday morning guys I'm going to take you on my ice batting ice batting session Gwen is not joining because Gwen is still in a bed Gwen is like a sleepy person and water is not really cold but it can be already for some people a little bit uncomfortable so I'm going alone at first we are going to the lake where I will do the ice bathing and after that we are just going to get some groceries for breakfast and after that we are heading back home to my amazing Gwen like for those people who are new to this channel they maybe don't know but I came from the village where I live right next to the river and every day during all around the year I was going to swimming or taking a bath in the river and that's what I miss right now when I'm in the city so luckily there is that lake I'm going to take you with me it's about let's say 10-15 minutes by car which is still like I'm quite disappointed because in the village I just made 15 steps and I was in the river now I have to spend 15 minutes in the car to get to that water but what can we do now we are just in the gas refilling station I'm just going to grab my things and we are going to the lake And here we are guys, I just arrived to the lake, it's actually pretty huge lake, once in our previous vlogs we came here with Gwen in the summer to take a bath swimming, in the summer here is so many people around, I currently I can see no people swimming because the it's already like very very cold currently it's only fishermen catching fishes here i hope they will not get mad at me for swimming here while they are catching fishes but i actually like this place of course it's not like in the river but better than nothing like about the ice bathing and generally swimming in a cold water I've been doing this like for about I would say four or five years and it's actually nice activity to do like it has actually so many benefits for your body you will become more adaptive to the cold cold weather cold temperatures 
it also says it improves immunity system like I cannot say if it's true or not on myself because I've never been like sickly person and it didn't change after I started doing ice bathing so I really cannot say if it has those benefits but yeah I'm trying to stay healthy and keeping myself in a kind of shape which brings me to another thing like on the way here you could see me smoking <laughs> maybe right now you are asking yourself like Jacob is saying he's trying to stay healthy but he's smoking at the same time I guess it's true I've been smoking since when I was 15 like the only reason I started because after school with the classmates they went to we went to like under the bridge and to try the new things and experience smoking cigarettes we did not even like it we had horrible headaches but i really don't understand why we why me kept on doing that it's a horrible addiction it's really hard for me to get rid of that i've been trying i actually tried that many times a year to stop myself from smoking and many times in a year I fail but if I would say like people who are doing exercise eating healthy they are above the zero let's imagine the line here is the zero you are in the positive numbers when you are doing exercise eating healthy and if you are drinking too much alcohol smoking doing no activity no sports you are going into negative numbers for me i would say i'm still keeping myself right in the middle in the zero <laughs> how i wish it would be those positive numbers but let's see maybe in the future once my will is strong to stop myself from using nicotine it will go away but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to jump into the water, spend there some time, couple minutes, swim around. Maybe I will be yelled from the fishermen here for scaring their fishes they are trying to catch. But it's actually when I look around, there are fishermen everywhere, all around here. So I cannot do anything else, like, even if I would try to find a place where there is no bun, it will be hard. And here it is guys, five minutes in a cold water is done it's like very refreshing and it's really the best thing you can do in the morning generally it's recommended to do that in the morning but i'm trying myself only during saturdays and sundays but during weekdays i don't have that discipline that i would get up early before work i would come here to the lake swim and then go to work uh, i'm really not that tough so during weekdays I come here in the afternoon and Saturdays, Sundays immediately in the morning once I wake up and it's really the best thing to wake up your body and start your day a little tip for you guys once you will get up from the cold water don't dry yourself immediately with the towel like just stay on the open air open water let the wind dry your body that's that's that best feeling of the ice bathing you will get out from the water and those endorphins and hormones or happiness will come out and you will feel amazing also the other thing for the beginners that you are feeling cold cold after you will go out from the river or from the water and dressing up immediately and trying to get on yourself many layers of clothes it will really not warm up your body the only what can warm up your body is like some little exercise some stretching walking running because i've been trying 
I went to the water when I was the beginner of ice bathing. In, in, immediately then I went home, get dressed up, jump to the bed under the blankets, but you will really not warm up your body this way. You have to like start moving, start doing something. And that's the only way what can warm you up or there is another little thing have if you can have a little sip of some alcohol it will warm you from the inside but that's what we cannot do right now because i arrived by car and it would be irresponsible so right now we are going to dress up and we will head to the grocery to get some breakfast <laughs> during the time i was in the water and swimming and just sitting there the fisherman right here called me like isn't it calm down there boy and i said no not really <laughs> it can be still worse and then he said oh my god boy i'm feeling freezing just by looking at you here <laughs> today it's the temperature outside is 11 degrees celsius i'm not sure how much can be the temperature of the water let's say it can be 11 or a little bit above but still it's pretty good temperature for those people who are deciding they want to try ice bathing still it's not that hard because once the temperatures outside are like in minus minus degrees the water is like around one or two degrees it will really being hard for you because imagine once you will get into that water and it's just after a couple of seconds you will feel like thousands of needles sticking all around your body under your skin and that's really uncomfortable like after a couple of months or maybe a couple of years it depends on the person you will get keen on that but still it will be a little bit uncomfortable for you also the other thing the adaptivity of the body for cold water can disappear very quickly that's why you have to be regular you have to do ice bathing regularly like let's say you will decide to do that once a week or twice a week then you have to do it like that and for example you will you will notice good results that you can spend longer time in the water or it's not really that uncomfortable for you you will see those changes just after a couple of months but then if you would decide to stop for just one month and after that month decide to start doing ice batting again you can really start from the beginning because the adaptivity of the body will disappear for that cold water that's really the disadvantage of ice bathing and that's why you should do that regularly like for those people who have been doing that for so many years even they will stop or they will have a break for one or three months it will not be such a shock for them because their body will remember and how it feels and they can be still keen on that but for the beginners it will be quite tough challenge but I believe all of you can do that and everyone should try that at least once that's what I was very impressed last year when me my sister her boyfriend and Gwen we went for a walk around the village and then we were near the river and we decided we will jump to the river it was December uh, cold temperatures cold water and we didn't expect Gwen will want to join us but she really did she jumped to the water she spent there like maybe a couple of seconds maybe one minute and then she get out because it was new for her because Gwen came from the tropical country Philippines when the temperatures our whole year above 25 degrees and she came to the cold country here in Europe it was a huge shock for Gwen but she managed it I'm very proud of her this time today I did not convince Gwen to go with me but it's okay it doesn't matter if someone wants can come 
I would never force anyone to come with me because it's really uncomfortable and right now finally we are back in the city heading to the grocery store like I would say the vlogging is one thing but the vlogging and driving in the same time that's the real challenge <laughs> like here in Czech Republic it's actually not allowed you are not allowed to use a phone, a camera, anything what can distract you from driving but I would sacrifice anything for you guys to make good videos <laughs> let's get the ticket do piče my ticket fell down you actually need the ticket because or else you would not get out from the mall because there are the gates Sunday but still so many people find the parking spot and we can go for for some breakfast actually the thing what was Gwen craving me to buy was some watery fruit so I decided to get her a watermelon and one mango because Gwen has some stomach issues and that's like a Filipino remedy they have those home remedies eating the certain fruits and vegetables they know I'm not sure if this is good decision to buy watermelon and mango but Gwen really loves mango so that's what I'm going to buy her so for now I'm done with Sunday morning shopping and I can finally go home to enjoy breakfast with Gwen if she is already awake I hope she is so let's see again finally at home i'm very curious if gwen is still sleeping because currently it's 9 a.m and this night was the time change from the summer time to winter time so actually gwen had one more hour to sleep gwen is really a sleeper so we will find out I'm very curious because if she's still sleeping it would be like 11 hours of sleep <laughs> the moment of truth good morning so we were right guys Gwen is still sleeping you want to see what I got you? I got you milk. I don't want that. It's watery. <laughs> A melon. How many? What how many? <laughs> One. One is more than enough. A little melon. Mango. Little mango. Is it good to eat? Yep. Oh, let's see. If the stomach cake will go away after eating melon and here we are finally our sleeping princess is finally away yeah. and right in front of her she has a <laughs> feast where yes. everything is included the most important part is rice watermelon donuts vegetable hot dogs sauerkraut some curd cheese, beans, everything is here. <laughs> I can say maybe it's too much, like we are living extravagant life, but to make the things clear, during the week, it's only Sunday, we can spend the morning together with Gwen. Mm -hmm. So we are always trying to make it worth it like eating breakfast together let's make it huge breakfast and get ready for the whole day 
So right now we are going to enjoy our breakfast. You guys, if you are eating as well, enjoy your meal, whatever it is. And Gwen is already mad at me for longering this because she wants to eat so bad. So go for it, baby. You can eat now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm literally living a princess life. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I have to be arrogant, but I'm doing a good job. But I have to be fat to prove it. So be fat. <laughs> but it's really hard to get fat. Gwen is eating and not gaining, and I'm not <laughs> eating and gaining all the time. It is not fair. Yeah. I don't understand <laughs> why, but it is what it is. And here it is guys, as you can see, I'm in the river, or I was in the river, another ice bathing session. So, and here we are in the end. So I hope that I convinced with my performance and with my tips and vices that I convinced some of you to try the ice bathing for the first time. If my influence is that hard and I can really convince someone let me know down in the comments I will really appreciate it and that's all so thank you guys for watching this video I hope it was informative enjoyable for you see you in the next video if you like this hit the like and subscribe button and take care always